I'm nosy. I need to check out that charger and see if it's free. I may have to come camp here one day. Yeah, freaking right. I love free energy. It doesn't even work. <laughs> There's your electric vehicles, folks. Just when all hope seemed lost, message of a new to an unknown all. Freaking what make it here, boys. Coming to you live all the way from the farm. It's a beautiful day today. Finally, the last four days have been nothing but rain and misery. Wind. Wind equals misery. Anyhow, we're back at our project today. I have a deal to show you. I bought all the insulation I need for this son of a gun, and I bought it dirt cheap. We're at the junkyard right now, and I'm going to show you the Hernigan Mustang that I was telling you about. This is the one that I got my parking brake lever from, and it used to look like a murder scene. It's kind of washed up now, but I severely cut myself when I uh, took it out of there. You can see some of the blood stains. Oh yes, I left DNA all over this place. Oh yes. It's awfully hard to get through here. But I'm heading over here to see if there's any wood stoves or anything cool inside those RVs. Let's go see. Yeah. Oh, is this propane? No way. No freaking way, is it? No. Maybe not. Let's see. I don't really know what I'm looking at. Is this propane, folks? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know anything about a propane engine. Uh, I don't even know much about carbs. <clears throat> I don't know, folks. She looks pretty normal to me. She does not look like propane. Although I could be wrong. <laughs> it is hard to get through here. Uh, almost impossible. There's a lot of cars here. I'll show you. Oh yeah, oh frig yeah. Redneck playground, I love it. I friggin' love it. There's a lot of wind up here. A ton of wind. See anything you're looking for? I love coming here. It's one of my favorite places. This is not really a public uh, wrecking yard very few people know about it compared to the other ones that I go to which makes it more cool for me all right I need windows and I need patio doors and that's a damn nice window I might need that window oh she's got a screen and everything oh the door is insulated too hmm I might be pillaging Pillaging from the RV village. I can't even get in the damn thing. All right, there's no bears or anything. Whoa! What happened? Holy old smoke, somebody really wanted that motor. All right, is there anything in here for a guy like me? I'm thinking that the cabinets are probably no damn good. No damn good. These windows are pretty good though. I really like these. Oh, frig yeah. That's just perfect. It's just friggin' perfect. Hmm. Yeah. That's not too damn bad at all. I really like those windows. All right, we got a pooper. We've got a pooper. We've got a stove. That's not too bad of a stove. Little sink, little fridge. What's in the fridge? Mold. We're having mold for dinner. All right. Ooh. She's got the roll top. There's nothing I love more than a roll top. Oh, yes. A roll top. Oh, that doesn't roll anymore. Ooh. That's sketchy. 
It looks dirty in there. She looks dirty. She looks dirty, folks. All right. Ooh, little drawers. I may need to come back and buy these drawers that don't open. Oh, they're RV drawers. Cool. You gotta lift them up or just pull the fucking front off, whatever works. Oh, I feel lucky to have survived. What's this? Do I need this for my. Whoa! What is that? <laughs> Hello in there? Hello in there. What a useless compartment. All right. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I actually really do like that window. I might have to pull one of these out. See what this one has. Oof. Oh, the door's in a bit better shape. Hello in there. Oh, well, your engine is gone too. Ooh, look at the windows on this one. Huh, somebody already took a window. These are actually pretty damn good windows. And that door is not too shabby either. Nice if somebody didn't take the window out of it. I think I need this door. It has a dud bolt too, that's kind of cool. Huh. And if I buy that, I get a screen door too. This is interesting, folks. Ooh, I love the pink. It's my color. It's just my color. Hmm. Need that. There's not too much salvageable in here. Oh, your bathtub full of bees' nests. Ooh. They're all up there too. Holy shit, the bees like this place. Oh, and there's birds in there too. The birds and the bees, folks. <laughs> We've got the birds and the bees. Oh yes, we're learning today. All right, let's check out this paper. Do I dare open it? I knew it. Ugh. Alright, let's get out of here. That's enough about the birds and the bees. <laughs> Alright, we're going through the auto maze. And it's amazing. We're heading over here. Oh my goodness, what happened? Are you okay, bud? Holy smokes. Holy smokes, you took a tumble. That is for sure. Hey. Are you kidding me? I'm driving all over the damn country trying to find this stuff and it's here. All right. The tire's making a funny sound. <laughs> Oi. There's not too much left of this one. She's just about dead. She's just about dead. Huh. Oh, there's a parking brake lever I could have pillaged. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about this one. She's definitely seen better days. All right. We're going to make our way to this corner back here because there's a mobile home, I guess. It's not quite an RV. She's more of a mobile home and I see a chimney. So I need a tiny little wood stove. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at this. This is funny. This guy really does not like tailgaters. Not at all. 
Look, he's got his whole tailgate bed linered. Check it out, she's freaking bed linered. What happened? All right, I'm also looking for a nice truck cab, or a nice truck cap to potentially put on my camper and uh, raise the roof, raise the roof. Is that a Fiero? Huh, I haven't seen those in forever. Ooh, Alpine, back in the day, this was your chick magnet. The old Fiero with the Alpine booming system. Wonder if the Alpine is still in there. Is that it? I'm not sure. Oh, I can't see. Oh, look at that. Now there's a top for my van. <laughs> Not really, but maybe. Not really, but maybe. That has got to be the ugliest van I have ever seen. What happened? What friggin' happened? Holy. Oh, look at that. What? They made a camper out of it. That is actually pretty cool. What does this top look like? Oh, that's how they did it because the top is higher. Huh. Interesting. I don't think I could put that on my trailer though. It is way too ugly. Way too freaking ugly. Oh yeah, and she gets worse from the back. Her arse end is uglier than the front. All right, let's go see what's in here. I have never been in here before. I'm a little bit scared. Cool. It's not every day you have a car as a step. Oh, this looks like a bad idea. Oh, this looks like a very bad idea. That's the stuff nightmares are made out of, folks. Holy. All right, we're in. We're in. Oh, look at that. They built the stereo right into the friggin' cabinets. I love it. I love it. I am scared to be in here. Oh, we're learning about the birds again. There's the birds. I hope there's no bees. Yeah. Bird's nest right there. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything. A match made in Texas? No friggin' way. And it's a romance too. I can tell because it says Harlequin. Ooh, I found a wallet. With absolutely nothing in it. Not a damn thing except for matches made in Texas. All right. Oh boy, this is scary. I'm not sure if a guy should venture back there. At least not without a gun. Hello? Police? Police, come out with your paws up. <laughs> oh my. Oh wow, check it out, check it out. That's the guy who used to live in this room. If you're out there, bud, I hope you're doing okay. Steven, there's no date on that. Steven had a treasure chest in his room and an ashtray. Stephen didn't look old enough to smoke. Oh, there's his last name. Not to dox you, but Stephen Rutten, you did a great job.
What is this? A typewriter? Do I dare open it? It's a nothing. I took all that risk for nothing. All right. This room looks like the scariest of them all. Ooh, I feel like a dirty old raccoon's about to come out and gnaw on my knee. Hello, police! Are you in here? Is everything okay? Oh, more birds. More birds. The birds love this friggin' condo. Alright, I'm getting the hell out of here before it's too late. There's definitely nothing of interest in here for a guy like me. We're back at the ugly van. These seats are nice. They have steel frames and they bend down into a bed. They're also pretty lightweight. You can store stuff underneath them. I may have to come back to this dirty old ugly van and get myself those seats. This is the one with that ugly thing on the top. Don't worry, I will recover the seats if I use them. All right, across the pond over there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ooh. Across the pond over there, there's another uh, RV. We're going to see that if we can get over there. It's a little bit wet here. Slightly, slightly wet. I think we're gonna have to take the long way around. It's usually pretty hard to get through here to begin with and now it's soaked. It's friggin' soaked. Huh. All right. Trying not to get wet feet. Oh. What in the world is that? Oh. It's an obstacle course, folks. All right. I did it. I did it. Okay, so what do we have here? Looks like somebody already took the door. Real nice, real friggin' nice. I needed that. Holy shit. This one has a nice little counter and fridge. This one is actually not too bad. Look at it. It's got nice cabinets and everything. A gas electric fridge. This is a pretty new fridge, guys. I have no idea how this works, but I could figure it out. Hmm, do I need this? I'm not even sure if I need a fridge. Not really, because I'm gonna be on the road. Oh, look at the table. Huh, this is very interesting. I like this window. I think I'm gonna have to take that from my roof. That is an awesome friggin' window. Actually, I really like these windows too. I think I might have to take all of them. Yes. Check this out. I'm not sure what it is. Looks like a tourist office. And I happen to be a tourist. Ooh, there's more RVs here. Holy smokes. Check it out, folks. I think I just found myself more cheap insulation. Oh, yes. <laughs> There's tons of it in here. This will absolutely do for my walls. I wonder if he'll sell it to me. All right. I guess I'm going over here to see this RV. Oh, there's a skidoo trailer here. What? I may need to buy that and flip it. It's actually hard to get over there. What? More insulation. And more water. I didn't even know he had this backhoe. Uh, I don't know. That one doesn't look so great. And it's on the other side of a pond. Look at this friggin' thing. Is that homemade or what in the world? Hmm. 
I had no idea that he had all these cappers here. All right, we are inside another camper. Ooh, this one is interesting. It's got nice windows too. It's also got a counter that's not so spectacular. What's in here? A door that doesn't open. But this one has a really nice door. And the windows are not too shabby either. Not too shabby. I'll show you the door in a second. I th Whoa, what's all that? They really love their dogs, don't you know? Holy! Holy, look upon it! Wow! The whole collection! Interesting. What in the world is that? Oh, I don't think I need that. <clears throat> Alright, I'll show you the door. That is a really nice door. Much nicer than the one I have. I think I need that. All right, so we're back at the house now. Actually, I've been back for a few hours. I bought this door off my buddy for 20 bucks. I'm loving this door. It's insulated. It's a dandy RV door. It's insulated, right? It's got a much nicer shape than a piece of plywood. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too long. Not to worry though, because I can just cut 10 inches off or whatever I need. And it's actually gonna be beneficial for me. First, I'll show you that these uh, hinges can be moved. So it's not like I'm cutting the bottom hinge off and losing it. Yeah, it's beneficial to me because you can see at the very bottom. There's a bit of a wow in my door, my screen door. So when I go up 10 inches, that bottom bent part will be cut off, which will be awesome. And I'm going to need a new window. I don't know what happened to the window. It's kind of weird that the window is broken. Oh no, the screen door opens. Yeah, I don't know. Anyhow, $20. $20 I buy. I like to buy. Okay, so I did a bunch more work in here. Uh, I know I told you in the last video that the next video will have the insulation in the floor going down. But I'm getting an awful lot of clips ahead and not getting the floor down yet. She will be going down tomorrow, for sure. Uh, I had to weld in a whole bunch of gussets and framage type crap. And the reason I did that was because plywood is very expensive. And these are my old plywood walls. And they are pretty crappy. Well, meh. You can see here though, like the bottom edge. She's friggin' done for, bud. She's friggin' done for. So. This is going to be used for, I don't really know what you call it. It's going to go down first on top of my frame, and then I'm going to put styrofoam on top of that. And then I have new plywood that's going to be sandwiching it all in. I will show you my uh, deal on styrofoam I went to get the other day. My insulation paid a hundred bucks for that whole load of styrofoam and look at how much it is here 85 bucks a sheet i got seven sheets for a hundred bucks yeah oh yeah oh frig yeah i paid a hundred bucks for all of this there's over seven sheets there there's quite a bit i think it's like 85 bucks a sheet at uh, home depot I'm not exactly sure because I don't have the exact stuff, so it's hard to be exactly sure without the exact comparison, you know? All right, and what else is there to show and tell? I don't think there's a whole lot other than my door was screwed. I don't need a door anymore. I actually may go back to that junkyard tomorrow and buy the frame. I was a bit of a goof somebody removed this door but uh, they didn't take it and they just left it there she's first come first serve so i alley-ooped her into my truck well my dad's truck but my load i got her oh yes i freaking got her anyhow folks yeah tomorrow i might go get the frame for the door because 
there needs to be some modification here and whatever a bit of this a bit of that make sure that my door fits because i best get all my welding done before i put my uh styrofoam in here or that'll be a fire for sure anyhow it's like 6 30 right now i'm tired tired of working on this thing i cannot wait to wake up tomorrow and start slamming insulation and floor into it the fun part oh yes the fun part decorating if you didn't know folks i'm one heck of a decorator <laughs> not really we'll see Anyhow, that's another day. That's another video. I'm going to slam her together because I'm just collecting clips. I'm a clip hoarder with no video. And what's the point of hoarding clips if you're not going to make a video? So I'm making a video. Oh, yes, I am. Anyhow, this is it. So comment, rate, subscribe, share the damn video, and don't do anything I wouldn't do. Villains, I say to you now, knock off all that evil!